Welcome back to Beyond Real Estate. Today on Business Bookend, we're going to be talking about growing a business through relationships, both online and off. So if you're thinking about growing your business, you don't know how to start or you want to do it a little bit differently instead of just going into same old. You're going to networking meetings, shaking hands, kissing babies. You're cold calling people just to grow business. You're trying to do this relationship thing and just don't know really where to start. I'm glad that you're here then because we're going to be talking about things that Nick and I have done and used to grow our databases as well as grow our relationships with prospects, business partners locally and nationwide. So not going to want to miss this. But before we dive into that, if you don't mind just going and hitting that follow button so that you can see more content just like this every single week, whether that's the quick hits, which is just this particular segment or the entire podcast, we would greatly appreciate it. And it helps us with the algorithm. Please go ahead and do that right now. But let's jump right into how we grow our business. So the first thing that I want to talk about is social media, the bastard darling that no one really knows how to use and everyone does it incorrectly. Social media, we've had some amazing people on here before, such as Tish Gantz amazing lady talked about some awesome things in social media. Go check out that episode. But social media, the goal of it is to remind people who you are, but not bombard them with what you do. People want to know and trust who they work with. Social media is a great way to stay in front of people with things of value. Things of value can be a update for what you're doing in your business, an update with what you're doing in your life. People love seeing those family photos. I'll give horror story of an insurance agent that was using social media and video marketing. But first, Nick, when you think of social media, what comes to mind and what's the best way to use it from your experience? It's a phenomenal free platform to share with others the quality of work and what in what you do. The challenge definitely lies in how do you stand out when it's like most spaces, it's inundated with a lot of the same people or similar walks of life as you, or just, again, you're just a number, right? You're a stat. So it's how can I use this free platform to show what I do and not get lost in the plethora of all the other things? I think ultimately yeah. it's trial and error. Uh, there's no better way to get over that hump than A, start doing it. Stop telling, again, it goes back to this self-talk of, but I'm not good at this, right? Stop, just start. And I can promise you, you're going <laughs> to... Thank yourself for just starting and diving two feet in. And whether that's you diving two feet in or you choose to invest in someone right from the get-go and say, I'm not good at it. I know I need to do it. So I'm going to pay someone a little bit to make sure I have a presence in there. I think it's naive to think yeah. you can, yep. especially be new. And I can speak directly on our behalves. Being newer, meaning what comes to mind, a newer three or less years in, in your industry. It's hard for me to believe that you can yep. successfully navigate moving forward without social media. I think if you've been in an industry for five plus years yeah. and you have your established clientele and that word of mouth and referrals, like you're not nearly as dependent. Although I would still argue you still need to do it for relevancy sake because nothing stays the same. And it's like, okay, do you only want to work with people that don't use social media? I guess if that's your niche, fair play. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Which is who? <laughs> do they also only use a rotary phone? Don't, don't text me, who's, only who's call that. on the rotary. <laughs> My landline only. If you can't get me there, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It means I'm currently on the internet right? because I still use a dial up. Goodness. Yeah. Building those relationships. Social media is a great way to do that by just, again, explaining who you are. I had a insurance agent. We do not work together for this reason, but she knew a lot of people out of state, out of Colorado, and she was using video marketing. And I was like, oh, okay, that's good. Particularly video emails, and this will tie back into social media and we'll go more broad here in a second. But she said that she was using video emails for Thanksgiving and Christmas. I was like, all right, that makes sense. She's like, but it didn't work. Only two out of every 40 that I sent people would actually watch. And I was like, who are you sending this to for Thanksgiving <laughs> and Christmas to like, your family must hate you. She's like, oh, I didn't send it to family or friends. I sent it to business prospects. I'm like, no shit, Sherlock. That's why no one opened it. No one's going to open some random person saying yeah. happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. To me. I would delete that too. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not clicking on that. Right. Who's this person? So wrong way of using it. Do not build relationships that way. Build relationships with your family and friends and remind them what you do before anything else. So many people in whatever sales, whatever business are so focused on just business. The average person knows 150 people. 
are you getting business from those 150 people? For, do they know what you do? Because that should be your focus first and foremost yeah. is keeping in touch with them and keeping on top of them, building relationships with them first, whether that's social media posting, sharing articles that you know that they'd be interested in is another great way. And then when you do have a business relationship, to not make it all about business. Again, do you want to use the guy that just hits you up every single time and says, hey, I can get a lower insurance rate for Hell no. Am I going to use a guy that I know that is my friend and has three kids and we talk about kids every time that he calls me? Yes. I'm going to use that guy every single time. The other guy can go fuck himself, to be honest. It's not just not interested in the same thing. You're competing with Geico. You're competing with Allstate at that point. If you're just making your business purely or your relationship purely about business. Nick, what are some other interesting ways that you've seen, maybe not implemented yet, but you've seen other people use to let people know what they do, but also- Yeah, I'll casual. rewind real quick on social media. I think it is a difficult avenue to actually build relationships versus inform people of, like you said, what you're doing, et cetera. Because I think ultimately a relationship boils down to do I know Jalen? And not just at surface level. As you alluded to, it's do you know about their family, their situation, how things are doing? I think that's what makes it more human. And we're social animals. So we have a natural draw to want to connect with people. We have a sense, we have an innate yeah. need to want to belong to things. That's why people go to church. That's why people go to the same conference. It's like, I want to belong to something. So I, th I think for those within your sphere, that's an important aspect to keep in mind is connect with people, whether it's through a phone conversation, whether it's through a lunch, a breakfast, a dinner, a glass of wine, what's your preference? A beer? Does that change? Yeah. 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 Be friends. Um, <laughs> because it does come back to that ultimately in, in terms of relationships. So that doesn't, uh, that's not reinventing the wheel, right? To say, oh, that's something different I've, d I've heard of. I guess here would be something a little bit different. Client appreciation, right? Maybe it's those that you've worked with. I think the challenge then becomes if you've worked with a hundred people, you only want to do an event for 20 people. You got this, some decisions to make. Nonetheless, I think those are creative ways to say, thank you. I haven't forgotten about you. And so do you do that on an annual basis, right? You pick a time, select a date, July 31st. And every July 31st or whatever that last Sunday is in July every year, I'm going to do a client appreciation for whoever I've done business in the last day. And again, how you select it up to you. Where is yep. that? Something different might be top golf. Right. That's the new fun social, yeah. some drinks, some food. You don't have to be good at it. Yeah. Smack the crap out um, of a ball. Or do you want to do it at yeah. a nice restaurant? <laughs> a little bit more formal. It's a nice dinner. Again, different dollar amounts. Right. So yep. what's your budget? But I think that's a neat way. Go away from the clients and go into those you work with. If we're in real estate, it's the HVAC guy yeah. that's the plumber, it's the lender, it's the title, it's the and you it's a it's an appreciation for the vendors that you work alongside. There again, yeah. yes, they might help you bring a house to the market if you're an agent. Nonetheless, they have cousins, they have friends, yep. they have brothers and sisters that there's, dude, you need to use Nick because the guy's not just a good real estate agent, dude, the guy's a quality human being. And again, that's why you want to work with people yeah. more and more yeah. and to say, I know 10 of them, but that's the one that's just different. And I think those are unique ways to, again, give back. And then I think ultimately it, the universe has a funny way of giving back to you. Versus you just asking all the time, say, hey, Jay, yeah. so bro, you haven't given me anything lately. You have any friends that are looking in California or what? And now you're just like, dude, every time we have a conversation, yeah. it always goes straight to how can I help yeah. him? I'm tired of that. Right? Yeah. What a jerk. Yeah. How about if you don't take anything away from this episode, hopefully you take at least this away and just implement it today. It's the easiest thing in the world. Find out what your business relationships and friends yep. enjoy. What do they enjoy? Oh, yep. Kathy loves fishing. Rob loves trains. Perfect. Google trains. Oh, he lives in Denver. Trains Denver. What's the latest news article? Oh, perfect. There's something from the Denver Post. Copy that article. Send it to him in an email. Yeah. That's it. Maybe say, hey, hey, saw just this article. Today. Just yeah. want to know what you thought about it. Yeah. Saw this article. Yep. yep. Boom. That's it. You're not pitching right. them anything. You're not trying to sell right. them anything. Right. You're being a friend. That's what friends do. Can I so, share one more thing? Do yep. something that simple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do it. And then um, leave us out I had of here. a listing come up. So that's what I'm coming back to. And I mentioned that in before hashtag dad life, but I got that listing because I did a community event for my neighborhood. I surrounded a free shredding and dumping event that nobody had to pay anything for. 
Shrump with gum Shrump happening with gum. every March. <laughs> that is a fact. Had it catered. Trademarked. Right. So then I turned it into a block party, door knocked my neighbors, and ultimately got a listing because I got to know one of the neighbors. And unfortunately, her sister passed. And I helped them rent a second dumpster because they had just so much extra stuff. Took care of the cost. I said, I got you. And ultimately built that relationship. Never knew this person before in my life. And that's where, again, you give something and you can get something back, but you don't even ask for it. It's someone said, thank you so much for that help. Nope. That means so much to me. And her life changed a little yep. bit with her sister passing, who was in my space and in my area. And I was in a position to help. So that, again, those are some different nuances that, is that guaranteed to come your way? No, but I can also guarantee you, had I not done that event at no cost, we would have never met. Yeah. So that, that's my one tidbit for those give to get, give to get. And yes. Yeah. Give, so give, 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 with give. that being said, yeah. Thank you guys for listening to another episode. We are on 22 now. So we are p beyond our drinking age and beyond our years here. Yeah. We're in the, we're in the age of forgetting our weekends and <laughs> hating Mondays. <laughs> there we go. So we're on our double twos on this one. So guys, wherever you may be listening, however you may be listening, thank you for listening and or watching until next time. This is this time. And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and we'll catch you next week.